Okay, hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 video. Um, as you may have guessed, today it's going to be part 2, or day 2 rather, of my um, 5 day game challenge. Um, so, uh, okay, so I know I said I got all my work done, and then I got an email today saying, oh, this assignment's due in next week, so I've been sat like doing the C programming shit all tonight, and it's a pain in the ass. And I know, like, anyone that knows programming will know that the way you'll you'll be able to see on that bit of script there, um, that that is not the most efficient way of doing it, and I know, but I just want to get it done, and I can't be, I just, ah, my mind's fucked, my mind's fucked, but I need to get it done. Anyway, enough of my troubles, let's go take a look at what I actually did get done in UE4 today. So, um, I had a bit of an issue with the AI and his navigation, so I fixed that, so basically these doors now, um... You can walk through them until you touch them. So, if I could walk through that, if I could walk through that door, like you can see there, that the nav mesh actually goes through it. Um, if I could walk through it, I could go through it. Um, but as soon as I touch this outer box here, it becomes a block all event. So I can't actually go through. So it becomes a physical, you know, block all. And then the nav, the nav mesh is cast on dynamic. So um, basically. Uh, the nav mesh would then say, okay, you can't go through here because it's a blocked solid. Um, but for this guy, he can open any door he touches anyway. So he's it's as if he's got all the key cards on him. Um, speaking of the key cards, I was playing around with us today. And this map is crazy. Like, I just get, I get lost in it already. So let's go ahead and hit play. So there's three key cards. Let's see, look at that. I lost the door already. So I can go out that one. Let's go and have a wander around. I know there's those particle effects coming through there that'll fix those. But yeah, I'll show you that sprinkler system in a bit as well. But okay, so there's green doors there, so I can't unlock those because I don't have a green key card. So I must have to go the other way. So we'll have a quick play around with this. Um, okay. So I need the green key card. I don't know, you're probably thinking it doesn't look like you can get that lost, but okay, that's yellow that way. And then I think... That's yellow that way. And then... No. I don't even remember building. The, oh yeah, this was the new bit that I was building. So I'm, I'm like, I'm building more onto it as well. So that kind of doesn't help. So that bit's yellow. I'm looking for a green key card or a yellow key card. I think the green one's this way. Nope. You know, like, I, I am lost right now. There's blue that way. Green, green, that's the top of those, green key card, hey, okay, right, we got a green one, we got a green one, right, so now I need, now I can go through the green doors, so now I should, should be able to find a, uh, a yellow one, yeah, so it's, it's confusing, like, I don't actually know where I am. Like you pass points that you were like, I recognize this bit from a, like that. I've been down this tunnel, but how did I get to this long straight here? You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm not putting this on either. I am quite lost inside my own map, which is good in some ways. Um, because it shows it's quite, yeah. Anyway. Okay. So enough of messing around with that. The idea is there, you know, you can easily get lost in this place. So that's the map. It's spread out across uh, four levels. Four levels. One, two, three, and then this little one, four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and while I'm here, I did have a good comment on one of my channel on one of my things, asking me how I made it modular. Um, and he was like, "Is it in the construction script or something like that?" And honestly, dude, the way you're thinking of the way you're th like, you're over. What's the word? You're making it more complicated than it needs to be. Um, my modular system is not is not a professionally done modular system. For example, like this tunnel here, if I wanted to expand on that, uh, I simply drag out the piece, scale it up to 1.3, uh, rotate it, keep him on 90 degrees, and I, I line it up manually. You know, there's no there's no scripting or anything going on here. It's just me eyeballing that. So, wait, this is on its side. Don't know how that happened, but uh, okay. 
So yeah, it's literally just me eyeballing this. So I will now drag it over this way. Overlap them a little bit so I can see it line up. Yep, looks about right. Drag it up. And now we connect onto a long tunnel. So you know, there's no, there's no, nothing special going on. It's just the way that I've built the models. The way I've built them is is such that you can just clip them together like that. Um, okay, so what else have I got done today? What else can we show you today? Now I'm going to show you the sprinkler um, event. So to get the blue key card, which is in the back of the room here, spoilers, uh, you're going to have to put out the fire in this room, and you're going to do that with the sprinklers. So if I can. Um, just cheat real quick, put myself a key card out there, make it a yellow key card, and just play from my current camera location. Uh, pick that up, got the yellow key card. Um, so as you can see over here, open the med bay, room is filled with fire and smoke, oh no. But if we come on over to the command room, there's a med bay sprinkler system on the wall. We can activate that, and if we come back on over here, You'll see that the sprinklers are kicked in, the flames die out. We're left with a very smoky room, which slowly clears. And then the sprinklers turn themselves off. So that's my sprinkler event. It's not uh, it's not perfect. It could be better. But, you know, it's good enough to get the blue key card so that we can get out of here. And go and find the rocket pod. Now, I think I can show you... Um, well, I should be, I can show you actually the final or one of the one of the extra rooms. I've been, so I've got the I've got the basic rooms, you know, the T junction, the corners, the straights, the beds, uh, the command rooms, and then I've had also built today the um, escape pod. You know, the final part of the game where you're supposed to be getting to, which is positioned here. This is the one. So if we just play from camera location again, we can go ahead and have a look around in here. So there's like a flashlight on the floor there that's flickering just to give the room a bit of a you know, feel. So the, obviously this rocket here is launched. There's one here. A little smoke coming out the engines. It looks it looks pretty rough. I know it looks rough. It doesn't look as polished as it could be. It doesn't look super great, you know. But you've got the idea in there of where you'd sit. The little rocket looks out and... Yeah, you know, I think, I think it does the trick. It does the trick. There's, you know... It looks sort of like there's a rocket here. I guess, smoking engines, ready to go, you know, it's not, like I, like I keep saying, you know, I'm not focusing on graphic graphical design this this um, this time round with, with regards to building this game, um, I am just focusing on, on you know, getting the gameplay right, um, but yeah, I did need, I did need a final room, so I did, I did build that today, um, and now if I'm not mistaken, the guy should be walking towards us, um, so I'm just trying to think about if I've got anything else that I could show. I don't think so. I think that's basically it for today. I didn't. I know I've not. I've not had time to get much done. Uh, it's 4 a.m. again. I'm thinking about pulling an all-nighter tonight. If I can get this C programming code finished um, for university, then that should hopefully be the end of it. Unless I get any more emails with them saying, "Hey, you've got more work to do," um, which I hope not. It kind of sucks that I started this challenge and then I get an email telling me to do it. You know, you could have emailed me beforehand, but I will. I will commit to getting this game finished. Um, so yeah, the sprinkler systems. Uh, yeah, the sprinkler systems again. With regards to these tags, uh, guys, these tags are amazing. Um, like the sprinkler system, I can have multiple sprinklers in multiple rooms. So I've got one here, and it's got the tag Med Bay, and inside the blueprint, which fire that up over here. Um, we basically get the the uh, tag of ourself, and then we check whether the sprinkler has the same tag. So we've got the tag medbay, and the sprinklers in this room have the tag medbay on them down here as well. Wait, this one? Yeah, it does down here. Sorry, I'm looking up at uh, component tags, but I want to be looking at tags down here. But yeah, actor tag. So this one has the tag medbay on it down here. So because those two match, whenever I press the sprinkler activate, it will activate these sprinklers. Now, if I was to change this to, um, let's just, let me just demonstrate this. Let me change this to med and just put one of these sprinklers as med. And the other one's still med bay. Oh, I press control S. Sorry, I've been, all right. So that one, this one over here, let me fly up on that, is still, uh, is still med bay. But if I drag out another key card, give it a tag of yellow. 
hit play, pick that up. And then if we go and fire off those sprinklers, let me see here. Yep. Let's go fire those sprinklers. We should only have one sprinkler system working now. So you can see it there that only one of the sprinklers is on. And it's not actually managed to reach those fire particles over there. So yeah, that, I think I think that's pretty cool. Um, I actually kind of prefer only one of those coming on. I think I'm going to keep that. It kind of feels a bit more, you know, broken. Like the whole system doesn't quite work. Just one of them does. But yeah, so, so you know, those tags really... They're really cool. They're really cool. It allows me to have so few blueprints, but still have so much... So, um... So much diversity across, like, I can have sprinklers all over the... I could put sprinklers in every room and activate them, you know, from different control panels, only using two blueprints. So I think that's phenomenal. Anyway, the video is getting quite long. It's dragging on. I need to get back to my C programming. Um, yeah, so I'll wrap it up there, guys. Hopefully, I can get a lot more done tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm really going to focus on sound and lighting because lighting is a massive performance hit. Um, so I need to take my time and make sure I can kind of get lighting right. Uh, and hopefully I can get some good sound in there as well. So tomorrow will probably be a lot less of me talking and a lot more of you just watching and listening to the sounds and the lights that I've hopefully put in there. Um, anyway, guys, as always, thanks very much for watching. Do subscribe to the channel. It's a big help to me. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment on the comment on these videos. I'm going to try and get back out there and, and reply to you guys, your guys' messages as much as possible. Um, thanks very much, guys, and as always, I will see you in the next video.